with us. Tell us why you're here at the parade. Okay, I wouldn't be Bronx VA if it wasn't for standing on the shoulders of many great Afro black African Americans. Um, I'm the first woman VA of the Bronx and the first black woman elected VA in the state of New York. So I'm very proud of being part of African American history and proud to march in this parade with so many proud African Americans. The African American Day Parade from the Bronx. Digital Network. All right, check out the parade on Harlem Digital America today. Welcome with Kevin Parker, state senator from the BK in Brooklyn. You represent Brooklyn out here. Talk to I me do, about I it. I do. So, you know, I represent the 21st district, which is Flatbush, Nice Flatbush, Midwood, Dippers Park, Wizard Terrace, and Park Slope. I'm the majority whip as well as the chairman of the Energy and Telecommunications Committee. And we're here at the African American Day Parade, a celebration of culture, tradition, family, and, you know, really togetherness, and particularly coming out of the pandemic. You know, one which threatened both our lives and our livelihoods. It's good to kind of be in proximity with people again and celebrating so much culture and so much of our own tradition. So we got Vanessa Gibson, the borough president of the Bronx in the house. Well, this is the Harlem African American Day Parade, but we got all the boroughs showing up. Why are you here? So I am here because I'm proud to be an African Caribbean American. I'm proud to recognize the incredible contributions of the African American community. So many people like Mother Hazel Dukes, Percy Sutton, David Dinkins, the village of Harlem that's done so much to transform Harlem and the city of New York. And I'm also proud to be the first African American and female elected Bronx Borough President. So the Bronx has got to be in the house to represent. We got to make sure, you know, we represent all five boroughs. But this is really about the heritage, the culture, the diversity of black Americans and what we've done over the years fighting for equality and freedom and justice. And even now in 2022, we still fight for those same freedoms, for reproductive health, for equity in the system and housing and education. And so I'm proud to be here. I want to acknowledge and thank all of our sponsors, the Parade Council, all of our honorees, like my sister Melba, yes. from Melba's Restaurant, who I love. I want to thank Chairman Keith Wright, a good friend, and really everyone in the Harlem community and the city of New York for what you do each and every day. Sharpton, Harlem, America, can you just say a few words about why you're here? I'm here because I've been here since I was a kid, and I, I remember as a child watching Adam Craig Powell ride down this street in a car, and I'm here now walking with the first black uh, woman that we've seen as the president of the city council, walking with pride with Congress and the SBI. We're out of COVID. And maybe if we celebrate ourselves, we can tell the young people in the community that stop the violence. We got more to celebrate than to assault each other. All right. I'm Al Shopton, watch Harlem America. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hi, Three. I'm Judge J. Michelle Sweeting and watch Harlem America. <laughs> So you should see Jet Sweeney. She got on beautiful heels. You are a brave lady. Most certainly in the civil rights movement, if you were to look at the marches, you will see that women in particular came adorned in their heels. They came adorned in their dresses. And because this parade is on Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard on a Sunday, this is the day of worship. And so I am here after having worshiped at the Bethany Baptist Church in Harlem because that's what we do. That's Excellence what is what we represent at this parade. And I'm here standing in my heels to let you know that I'm standing on the souls and the hearts of justice. Because I'm a proud African-American woman that has been fighting for over 44 years for justice and education. And here we are today, celebrate African-American all we do. Right. That's Harlem America. Harlem America. Get all the news from Harlem America. Speaking with Inez, you are a Grand Marshal of the parade. Talk to me about why you're here. This is historic. I'm here for the African American Day Parade as we celebrate into our uh, fifth decade of recognizing and honoring the importance of the African American culture, the diaspora, the contributions that we've made, not just to the village of Harlem, the city of New York, the city of New York, but the entire world. The contributions that, that have been denied us, where we have contributed, and it's been stolen from us. Today, we're educating our youth to understand and know whose shoulders they stand on. And I'm so proud to once again be able to participate in this and be a part of the future, our youth. Thank you so much. What are you most looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to just walking down with the people that I love so much. I love my village so hard. 
there. Sometimes I can just cry. I love it so much. And needs no introduction. It's Congressman Rangel. Congressman, how are you? I am doing terrific. And tell us why you're here at the parade today. I've been at these parades ever since they started them. It's a wonderful opportunity to come out and enjoy yourself, but more importantly, to remember our history because it's just as important as the Constitution is to other people to know that we were not included, but we're fighting like hell to catch up. <laughs> Home of America is certainly the greatest thing you want to listen to. Good luck. Oh, I'm here because African American culture is at the at the heart of where we are in New York. It's what created New York City. Harlem is the city's life's blood. So I'm here today to show my pride in my culture, to show my love of my culture, and to just let my culture know that we are still in charge because we created all that is beautiful.